Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm King Posh, your host for today's show. So today, I'm going to do things a little different. I'm going to show you guys my favorite cards. This is one of them. This is what we're going to start out with. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what I did to these cards, the tune-wise. Um, this is a $600,000 car, so it is expensive, but it is one of my favorites. Um, I'm going to just go through the car list and see what I usually use in an online room. I'm going to pick the car up. I'm going to show you the tune that it's on, on the share front. And I'm going to show you the exact tune that I have on the car that I run. So, let's get right into it. So, this is the 1965 Alfa Romeo Giulia TZ2. This is one of my most favorite cars. Everybody keeps on asking, King Posh, what's your favorite car? I have many. So let's get right into the tune and show you guys what I did to this. So, if you guys can pause it in time, um, if you're watching on your phone, you can definitely write down these numbers and put it on your own car. And if you need to tweak anything, then you can tweak them. All right, no entire row bars. Springs. Dampening. No downforce. There's my braking. And there's my differential. Oh. There you have that. All right. Normal stuff is on this thing. Um, honestly, I have a 4.5 liter V8. Um, I made it all-wheel drive. Uh, it's got twin turbos on there. And tires are drag tire compound on this one. So, there you have that. All right, you get it close to an 871, you're pretty, pretty close. But if if you, if not, you can always just download the the, uh, the car. You know, don't have to worry about writing, putting down all these uh, numbers in there if you just you know take care of that from the, the get go. Another great car is the uh, 2007 8C. Um, this was always my favorite car in Forza 5 and and whenever it came out. Um, great car. See, my most favorite points drift setup, all tracks ready. King All Wheel Drive Drifter, here's the tune. You can just see all kinds of just different things. So every car is different. So, um, yeah. And there's a differential to that. So hopefully you got all that stuff down. I don't want to make this a long video. But uh, I just want to show you guys everything. So look at that. Number one all-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive, drift tuner. Number one all-wheel drive, drift tuner. So I have everything on the sides, around it. I, was, I rock this all the time. All right, next car. I don't know. I mean, there's so many good cars in, in, in this place. Uh, that I always like, uh, like the Aero Atom. Another great um, vehicle. A true Bones car. All right. It takes a second to always load that all up. King All Wheel Drive Director, great, great car. Uh, I love, I love whipping this out every once in a while. Um, here's the tune. If you ever need one for this. Um, gray car, super light. Um, I have it max, nearly max to the rear, and it just kicks sideways. So, um, wild ride. Uh, definitely need to give this a try. It's just crazy on the track. Um, stiff in the front, 
soft in the rear that that rear end just dips down when you're going sideways and it just just hold on it's crazy now yep, braking's to the rear so the engines in the rear so believe me that that rear end loves to slide all right and there's 84 percent power going to the rear too so i got everything going to the rear as you can tell i like to shake that tail feather there you go. All right, simple stuff. Um, engine, I you know there is no engine upgrades you can put onto it, so uh, you got that, and I have the twin turbo on there. Um, tires that I ran on that were stock tire compounds, so it really slides. So there you have that. Uh, there's a lot of cars in Austin Martin that I really like. Um, this is also a favorite of mine, the DBR1. I like that one. And I like the V12 Vantage S. Uh, these, these two are definitely uh, favorites. So, um, we won't go into de de detail on these ones. I mean, here, we can get to give you power. Uh, these things are on the share front also. I know that for a fact because I use them. Now, that one is. Uh, this one, however, I don't know. I think so. I think we, I think we already went through this already. Um, let's just make sure. Nope, there is no tune for it. Um, I did make a video of it, uh, but I'll show you the tune for it anyways. It's got 0 to 60 in 1.9 seconds, so it's very quick. Uh, I will drive insanity. It's got, it's got a semi-straight drift build to it, so... Um, it doesn't pull very hard, um, as the aerial atom will, but uh, it does pretty well. Seventy-eight, forty-eight, one hundred, ninety-seven, seventy-one. A little different. But it works for that car. Wow. Definitely a great car. Yeah, definitely have to try those two. Especially the uh, the V12 uh, Vantage. This is awesome on the track. Audis. There's a lot of good Audis. Um, now, favorites wise, um, the R8s uh, would be my favorites. Any of the R8s. Both of them. They're really, really good. Um, so so is this one the team four is that one but when it comes to like the best car in audi it would be the rs4 avant this thing is a beast and i have it as my little pony because i love just you know kicking that thing sideways this is one of my favorites out of all of them and there's a lot of audis oh. uh, here's a tune easy king drifter best all wheel drive drift tune top rated setup um, great all around car you guys definitely got to try that out I think you're going to like it uh, tune wise uh, as you can see um, the rear is out there just like the uh, aerial atom so it will kick sideways and it's a blast on short tracks and the, uh, I know I'm skipping through here pretty quick you, you guys can just mess around with the metal parts you've already seen my other ones just work it um, everything's pretty simple here so awesome there all right Audi that, that's that's it for Audi really um, when it comes to like favorite cars um, best soundings probably like this one this one's the 2011 pretty good sounding car um, the RS4 is not too bad I like that one I like the S4 uh, the R6 has the best uh, exhaust um, sound you could ever have, and just go with the uh, uh, the V6 engine. And it's just funny; it doesn't sound like this on any other of the cars that has the uh, the same 875 horsepower. But it's amazing. I highly recommend you guys getting this, putting that engine in there, and you can just sit there and just listen to the engine. It it, it just sounds so good. Here, here, I'll, I'll even show you guys. It just it just sounds good.
I love that sound. The pop, 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 pop. Love it. That's why I like that one. Alright, let's move on. Uh, another gray car is the Bentley. I'm not going to show it. But, gray car, heavy, yes. But, um, a lot of fun. Uh, BMW, uh, you guys will see me a lot in the online rooms with the uh, M235i. Um, it's a good car. Um, on like short tracks, long tracks, it, it can be a little bothersome, but it does work. Uh, a lot of great cars here. Um, the 1 Series M Coupe, um, other runner up. Great car for rear wheel drive. Um, and Forza 5, you can get the 1182 horsepower and it'd still be an A-Class 700 and that's what I liked about it. Um, so, great rear wheel drive car if you ever need one. Um, other great cars would probably be like the BMW, uh, the 97. Uh, these things are awesome. Uh, the 91 is definitely a favorite. So. Um, 91 M, M1, great car, M3, whatever you want to call it. I'm tired. Uh, expert all-wheel drive drift, points king, all tracks ready, drifts for days, all-wheel drive legend. Look at all the look at the downloads and uses on that thing, and I and I agree with them. Um, the M3 is awesome. I'm thinking the M1 because I'm, I'm thinking 1991, but yep, that's that's a favorite. Um, oh yeah, I guess I really no, I, I don't need. Do you? Do I need to show the tune? Sure, I'll show the tune. All right, so thirty-five, thirty-five. All right. A little different for an all-wheel drive, but uh, it works. It's an all-positive tune. People like it. So now they're like, "What? You're running all-positive?" right and you've been using it all this time um, and there's that tune pretty simple um, gets you where you want to be a lot of good cars um, the Veyrons are always a great car um, I have two of them here. Uh, really don't know what the difference is. I don't use the Veyron very much. Uh, it's a good car, but I just don't use it. Um, I got the right one. Definitely people are rocking it. Best all-wheel drive Bugatti SS Drift Tune. 95 to 100,000 a lap on Bernie's Alps Full. So here's the tune for that. 5555. That's stock tire compound, by the way. I think so. We'll find out. Here's the gearing. I guess I just pause it when you can. Write down those numbers. No anti roll bars. Medium uh, springs. Dampening set. No downforce. Braking's in the front. The 130% pressure. And then there's the uh, differential. Um, there you have that. Um, like I said, we're going to look at tires. Uh, yeah, stock tire compound. Oh yeah, I guess I'll show you guys, like this is a big one, so stock tires in the front, you know, width, stock width in the rear, and they're big enough, you don't need to make them any bigger. Alright, yeah, that's a weak lane. Another great favorite car of mine is the Regal GNX. Top King Drift. 
As you can tell by the downloads, it's true. 85,000 a lap uh, on Alps, Bernice Alps, full, and that's with ease. Um, easy all-wheel drive drift king. Um, great car. Here's the tune. And there you have that one. Alright. I like the uh, the thing it says on this one. If you can read this, I'm sideways. Another great car, but this is still my favorite. Out of Buick. Cadillac. Um, a lot of great cars in here. Um, that I have. Yep. Uh, my favorites are are these by far the limos um, I spent some time tuning this to make it good alright I have the rear wheel drive and I have the super easy drifter which is all wheel drive um, and it's still an A class um, as you can tell by there's a lot of likes and a lot of uses great car so is the rear wheel drive um, still it's got the same amount of power just lighter um, and I have my description as King Posh Gaming at YouTube. Um, I love this rear wheel drive. It's well balanced. It really is. But here I'll show you the all wheel drive tune. <coughs> and no anti roll bars. No downforce. Break into the rear. <coughs> and there's my uh, differential for the limo. All wheel drive. All right. Let's get you the rear wheel drive. And that's with stock tires. Now, where am I at? Uh, I went too far. Yeah, they're both with, that one's with stock tires, this one's with drag tires. So, the rear wheel drive is definitely has drag tires, for sure. Um, here's the tune. And this is going to be the best well-balanced rear wheel drive limo you'll ever try. It's perfect. It really is. Spent a lot of time on this rear wheel drive to get it good. So, these are my favorite cars in Cadillac, by far. Yep, light on the pressure. It doesn't need much. And there's the differential. Cadillac. All right. Anything else here? I mean, there's a lot of Chevys that are really good. Um, everybody that says, "Posh, what's like the best like you know cars to even learn how to drift on?" I would have to say the muscle cars. Really, I like the Z the Camaro Z28. That's a great car. The Monte Carlo Super Sport, another great car. Um, the IROC Z, phenomenal car too. Um, Another one, just like one of my outmost favorites, is the 1966 Chevrolet uh, Nova Super Sport. This thing is a beast. Uh, I highly recommend anybody to try this car. It's a good car. Um, it's slippery. I know that. But I like it. It's the second and third gear. 
car for all those tracks that you want to take it on. Um, highly recommend this car. Here's the tune. Make sure those are even. Normal stuff that you guys have seen on on all of them. 76, 46, 97, 97. You're you're always you're gonna see that a lot. That's just a norm for me. Right. It's it's perfect. So, there you have it. So, great car. Uh, but that's that's one of my favorites in uh in Chevy. Uh, another favorite in Chevy is the 1957 Chevy Bel Air. Um, this thing definitely kicks sideways. I like this one too. Uh, when it comes to old cars, these are it. Super easy drifter. 38,000 a lap on school circuit. Easy all wheel drive drift king. Um, same thing. Tune's going to probably be pretty close to the, uh, uh, the Nova. Um, good tune and it works um, and there you have that one so it's a little different it's not 76 46 97 97 it's 86 56 so, a little different, but it all works the same. I like it. Now, that's that. Uh, Chrysler 300 is great for automatic users. Um, I like the Chrysler Rocket 69. Um, I use this a lot in Forza 6. Um, I love this car. Uh, so, um, here I'll show you guys. Uh, it's right there. King all-wheel drive drift. All right, all tracks ready, points ready, turbine powered, which it is. Uh, nuclear power, however you want to call it. And here's the tune for this. Even though most of you guys don't have this car, at least you get to see the tune that I'm, I rock when I'm with you guys. It's only got one gear, um, and it's perfect. So, a little different, but it works. And yeah, I, I definitely rock this a lot in online rooms, like I said before. So, you know, if you see me on Forza 6, most of the time I'm rocking this car because nobody really has it. And it's just fun they bring out cars that nobody has. So there's the tune. Same tune as the uh, same um, differential as the Bel Air. It works. Why, why, why chain jump it, you know? It works perfect. A lot of good Dotsons in there. A lot of good Dodges. Um, they're they're all good. Um, the the Dart's awesome. It's an amazing car. Um, the Charger Fast and Furious. It's way back there. You can hardly see it. Um, here's a here's a better picture of it. That's a great car too. And then I have another Hemi. Ferraris, oh man, there's so many good Ferraris. The Ferrari California T is amazing. Um, as you can see, I have two of them. I just like that paint job, um, but I rock it. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, there, there's a lot of great cars in here. The Ferrari 458. The Marinello, one of my favorite cars on Forza 6 and 7. Um... This is where this this car is where I really perfected the tune for uh, mid-engine cars. Um, this thing just came out so beautifully that now I use this tune on every you know as every like mid-engine car like a bass tune. This is just the greatest bass tune for Forza Six wise. So here I'll just show you guys the tune for for the best. Um, just you know, start up setup to throw onto any car that has an engine in the back. 
like Ferrari wise this works perfect and this only works on six this won't work on seven I had to retune the card completely um, for it to work so but on six this is it this is just the greatest base tune for a mid-engine rear engine Ferrari or any other uh, mid-engine rear engine cars except Porsche uh, Porsche is a different story they're, they're a different monster so they, they, they took this tune and then they got heavily tweaked and that's the best for like for for yeah for Ferrari there's a lot of them there's a lot of them a lot of great cars Fiat um, a lot of great cars the V8 the 8V if you want to call it <laughs> I call it a V8 supersonic great car very expensive but I, I put time into this car because I mean it's an expensive car uh, the 124 um, sport spider is a favorite on here I like this one um, it's a great car KP's all-wheel drive drift, 38,000 a lap on Catalina school circuit, all tracks ready, points king. Um, amazing car, 875 horsepower, not much you really need to know. It's got flat tires just so he gets more grip around the turns, because it's such a light car. Uh, longer gears, so you're not constantly shifting. Um, yeah, it does pull. <coughs> Still coughing after a month, but I'm getting better. Uh, into Robert Springs. There's the Springs if you didn't see them. I kind of jumped through that pretty quickly. All right, that's normal. Break into the rear, and there's the differential: 76, 46, 97, 97, as you see, usually see from me. And there you go. So that's Fiat. Ford, um, the Ford GT, you can only make a real drive, can't make it all-wheel drive. I've had many requests of saying, hey, I want to see an all-wheel drive, post it up there. And you can't. There's no option. All right. A lot of great Fords in here. Uh, the Shelby GT 350R. Great all-wheel drive. All right. Um, another GT 500. Great car. There's Fords... There's so many great cars in here. The Hot Wheels Mustang, awesome car ever. Love it. Um, yeah. Just a lot of great cars. The Mustang 2 King Cobra, this thing's a beast. You guys got to just take it out and rock with it. It is an awesome car. It's cheap. It's easy to upgrade. It's not expensive to upgrade. It's got 994 horsepower, weighs 2,300 pounds. What else could you ask for? Points King. It really is. So that that would be a favorite car. And there, there's a there's a lot here, like the the Ford Deluxe Coupe. So. Alright. A lot of great cars. And then we'll, we're gonna stop at Hennessy. I love the Hennessy. Um, a lot of people are like, um, do you have a Hennessy? I'm like, yeah. Because I know how to drift. I know how to drift tune. I love the Hennessy, and as you can tell by the uses of people that actually, you know, say, hey, this guy's rocking the Hennessy, I want to see what this tune's all about. As you can tell by the uses, people have definitely wanted to try it. Um, here's the tune for it. And there you go, 76, 46, 97, 97. I use it everywhere. You should too. 
Try it. You'll like it. A great car. Um, stock tire compound. Um, TC uh, 105N rims. Um, yeah. Beautiful paint job. Love it. Great car. Highly recommend you guys uh, try that. Try the uh, the Hennessy out. So yeah. Um, and that's about it. So hopefully you guys got to see what I like so far. Um, I mean that's that's the Hennessy. Uh, we have so many cars to go to, but that's about it. I mean, you gotta understand. When you say King Posh, what's your favorite car? Car or cars? You know, car in the game. Like um, I have more than one. I have many, many favorite cars. When you own all the cars in the game, you can't just pick one. You gotta like you know pick a few. So. Well, hey guys, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully this helps you out to know what I like to use on the track when I'm drifting, and I'll see you guys for part two later.